Hey friends, it's Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture coming live to you today from the oh so glamorous garage. Um, it's, a, it's a great place to work, let me tell you. Um, I wanted to take just a second and show you the project I'm working on, this latest project, and then also um, just take a minute and speak courage over you because I'm going to tell you I wavered in my courage on this project for a second and God told me, God gave me a word and so I thought I would pass it on because it might apply to some of you and I know a lot of you are furniture painters that follow me but I know that not all of you are and so I think that this applies to everyone um, whether this is in business or just in life so um, here we go let me show you real quick what I'm working on and then I will tell you a little story that goes behind it let me flip you so like I said I'm in my garage which is not very glamorous and there's all of the packing boxes that makes it even less glamorous. Um, but I am working on the hugest conference table um, that I have ever done. And we're getting there. It's actually finished. The last coat of top coat is drying and it's turning out so pretty. That's why the blue finished there because um, it's just the top coat that's still drying. But anyways, it's turning out super, super pretty. And um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get a good picture. Let me get out of this glare here for a second. It's gonna be hard to share a picture for you when it's all done, but anyways, that's what I'm working on. And here is the story behind it. So um, I had a connection actually through church of um, somebody at their business, they were redoing their conference room. And he said, we have this giant conference table. He didn't even know if it could be refinished or not. I think this table is straight from the 70s. I'm talking, it's outdated and everything. Um, but he came to me and asked if it could be refinished. And so um, my first hesitation, I go, ooh, Ooh, working for a company like usually I work for individuals in their home so working for a company first you're like ooh, that's a little scary and then um, so I made an appointment and I went out to the company the office to see the table and I had to go through security and they had to do a little check and I had to go in the special entrance and I had to get a badge to get um, passed in and they had to walk me through to the conference room just to see the table and it was just one of those intimidating moments that I thought, ooh, I don't know if I am good enough to do this job. That was my thought. So anyways, I went ahead and I gave them an estimate, went through the whole process, and a couple weeks later, they said they wanted me to do it. And I was really hesitant at first, um, just to be honest. I was like, ooh, what, again, what if I'm not good enough to do this job? And it's a big job, it's kind of a pain, it's a whole lot of sanding, a whole lot of work yada 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 all the conversations that you have in your head and I heard God say stop you know how to do this it's not unlike any other refinishing job ever it's all the same once you have a skill and you can just keep repeating it and applying it over and over again it's wood wood is wood is wood and sometimes you'll have an issue but overall it's all the same and so the process is not that much different so once I heard that I heard that little voice um, telling me just stop and have confidence I was um, able to move forward and um, get the job and have the table delivered and then refinish it and you guys I'm stinking excited because it is beautiful so I think they're gonna be really happy with the result but I just wanted to share that because I think sometimes we get really intimidated whether it is the scope of the project, whether it's a client that we've never worked with before. Um, some of you are really afraid to even start doing custom work um, and having clients at all. And I just want to tell you that if you know how to refinish for yourself, then you know how to refinish for other people. Like the skill is the same, it transfers. So you just need to remind yourself that I know how to do this, I've worked on it, I've had training, I've practiced, and I can do this, whether it's doing it for myself, whether it's doing it for somebody else, whether it's doing it for a large company, it's all the same. So you practice your skill, and then you apply it, and um, that's it. It's not that hard. But I just had to talk to myself and use that self-talk and remind myself that I knew what I was doing to have courage and to get it done. So anyways, I'm like I say, I'm real excited with how this is turning out. I hope that that is a little bit of encouragement for one of you today. Maybe somebody needed to hear that. Um, you know what you're doing, 
So stop doubting yourself and go get it done. That's what I got for you. It is Thursday. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend as we head into the end of the week. Um, I will try my best to share a picture of this when I'm all done, but it's so big that it's going to be really hard to get a great picture. So anyways, have an awesome rest of your day and we will talk to you later. Bye.